problem. For us, for us, it will be good to have a session and then we continue maybe later on whenever we want to follow up. I, Ms. Ferris, I think that will be all right. Great. All right. All right, Mr. Jamal, let's go ahead. Good evening, everyone. This is Jamal Adin Jami, Head of Enrollment at Universal College, Bangladesh, the exclusive partner of Monash College, Australia, and the only Minister of Education approved in a national education provider in Bangladesh. I would like to have the pleasure to welcome you all to the very special session, specially organized for one of the best schools in Dhaka, Cardiff International School, on how to jumpstart your Monash University degree journey right here from Universal College, Bangladesh. I'm super excited about next 30 minutes because I believe those were the participants, I mean, the students part. Next 30 minutes are uh, going to be um, considered as uh, the catalyst to change their life because we will be taking through that life-changing journey, especially for their higher education journey here with Universal College Bangladesh. And to talk about that, we have amazing speakers from Universal College team. Now let me introduce them. First of all, I'd like to introduce uh, Dr. Sandeep Group, CEO, STS Group. Very, very good evening to everybody. Privileged to be here. Thank you. Professor Sarwar Ahmed, Dean of Academic Affairs, uh, Universal College, Bangladesh. Hello, everybody. Thank you for having us. Mr. Amit Choudhury, Head of Marketing, Universal College, Bangladesh, and a successful alumnus of Monash University. Hello. Ms. Habiba Kibria, adjunct faculty and associate counselor, Universal College, Bangladesh. Hello, everyone. And a very important person, uh, Ms. Fairuz, senior academic coordinator, Cardiff International School. Thank you, ma'am, for being with us. And also, thank you very much for helping us to organize this event at Cardiff International School. Thank you. At first, for the audience, uh, uh, for your better understanding, I'd like to answer our question. It is really important question, a burning question you might have in your mind. What is Universal College Bangladesh and why this college brought this Monash University programs here? To answer your question, Universal College Bangladesh is the exclusive partner of Monash College Australia and is the only Minister of Education approved in a national ed education provider in Bangladesh. Students can jump and start their Monash University degree journey immediately after their A-levels uh, by joining Monash programs right here at Universal College Bangladesh. Students receive the same academic curriculum, 100% guaranteed into to Monash University, an extremely cost-effective way. Monash University is a world top 100 ranked university. So whatever the ranking, you just name it, you'll find Monash within top 100. Last year, I mean, in, uh, in, in the year 2022, Monash University stood uh, 58th in QS ranking. So this is the brand that uh, we have brought. STS Group has brought in Bangladesh. We must appreciate the initiative taken by STS Group by bringing this uh, opportunity for our Bangladeshi kids. Because what happens people? Our students used to go to Malaysia or some uh, other places to take this path for their higher education. Now they have got the opportunity staying with their family members, doing it right here in Dhaka at Universal College Bangladesh and start their Monash University journey from second year, either in Australia or Malaysia. It means the program we are offering, Monash University first year equivalent program. So students right after their O level, they will continue with us. They will join us, spend one year with us. They will complete their first year. After that, that will give them guaranteed intent to second year at Monash University, either in Australia or Malaysia. So STS group has brought this opportunity. Before we move on to our main session, I would like to invite the group CEO of STS Group, Dr. Sandeep, to talk about STS Group and its affiliation with Universal College Bangladesh. Dr. Sandeep, the virtual uh, platform is yours. Thank you, Jamal. Thank you. Uh, let me very quickly and in summary mention, uh, Universal College Bangladesh is a venture of STS Group. STS is the largest private sector conglomerate in the healthcare and education sectors. 
we have many investments. Um, these investments include uh, things like Apollo Hospitals, now known as Evercare Hospitals. We also run a bevy of schools. We uh, and Universal College Bangladesh is amongst our latest entries into the education market. Uh, one of the critical things that Mr. Jamal said, and which SPS is very proud uh, to be associated with, is that this is a historic moment for Bangladesh. And why? Because Universal College Bangladesh is the first and only educational institution recognized by the Ministry of Education to provide international programs in Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. In other words, we have started the Monash campus in Bangladesh, and this Monash campus is approved by Ministry of Education as the first and only till date international campus uh, properly approved. So uh, that's something very proud for us. And when I say landmark, that is a historic landmark without doubt. Um, going forward, uh, in summary, what Mr. Jamal said, I would like to repeat. Uh, Jamal, you could probably uh, stop the entry and exit sound, right? Sure. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, if students wanted to go to uh, Monash earlier, they would have to go to Monash Australia or Monash Malaysia. You would have to first apply for entry, which is so tough to get because Monash is a uh, world top 100 university, 58 to be precise. Second is after you get admission, you have to pack your bags and suddenly go into Australia or Malaysia. We've changed the whole dynamics. Now you want to do your first year degree education of Monash, you do that degree equivalent education of Monash right here in Bangladesh at Universal College, which is the exclusive partner of Monash College. And uh, with those words, I hand over this virtual floor back to Jamal. Thank you, Jamal. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sandeep. Uh, I'm moving ahead with our um, slide. It says that uh, the offered program at Universal College Bangladesh is uh, Monash University first year degree equivalent program in applied data science, business, engineering, and information technology. So these programs are equivalent to Monash University first year. After your A-levels, you join with us to start your Monash University journey. Once you finish your first year, that will guarantee your direct entry into second year at Monash University, either in Australia or Malaysia. We also do have affiliation with some other Australian universities, we call Swinburne, Deakin, RMIT. So if you wish uh, to continue your higher education, I mean, from second year, we, you can continue with these universities under this memorandum of understanding, you can continue so, so how your journey should be from Universal College uh, Bangladesh to Australia to talk about that. Also, uh, how you can cope up with uh, your studying, staying in Australia. Now I'd like to invite in virtual floor, uh, the person who has the real experience studying, staying and working in Australia. She is one of our adjunct faculty and she is also associate counselor at Universal College Bangladesh. Ms. Habiba Kibria, I would like to hand over the virtual floor to Ms. Habiba Kibria. Thank you, Mr. Jamal. A very good evening, everyone. I'm very happy to be part of today's session with Cardiff International School. Um, so what Mr. Jamal said, uh, he, he, he mainly pointed out is talking about the transition. Ah, so the transition is, so from going to Bangladesh to Australia or Malaysia, the transition is very difficult because you have to understand we Bangladeshi students, we are not accustomed to staying alone. When we move to a foreign country, there are multiple factors that we have to consider, starting from doing our um, dishes to cooking and cleaning. So we are not accustomed to such things, right? So when you move to another country, obviously you will have to adjust to your lifestyle change. Now, the most important transition that you will be facing as an international student is the change in academic curriculum. Australian academic curriculum is not same as Bangladeshi one. And I myself being an international student, student, I face this difficulty. And being in the academic industry for quite some time for now, I have seen international students take up to six months to sometimes even a year to get accustomed to the academic system. So how will UCB help you if you study here in UCB, if you do your first year here in Universal College Bangladesh, you will be accustomed to the Australian education system 
while being at the comfort of your homeland. So by the time you move to Malaysia or Australia, whichever campus of Monash you choose, you will already be accustomed to the academic system. And then you have to slowly adjust to the whole new lifestyle, being homesick and whatnot. So this is where Universal College Bangladesh comes in. And it is a great opportunity for everyone. I mean, seeing this right now, I wish I had this when I was 18 years old. I wish Universal College Bangladesh was there when I was 18 years old, when I was going for my studies. That's that. And why are we, we, are, cons we are recommending Monash is because if you don't take my word for it, you can obviously look it up on Google. Monash is one of the top universities, not only in Australia, but in the world. So if you look at the rankings, if you look it up on Google, talk to your peers, you'll see where Monash ranks. And if you have a Monash degree, you can get wonderful opportunity. You will get multiple opportunity doors open up for you in your homeland, in any other foreign country that you choose. So me being uh, one of the faculty members of uh, Monash College Diploma Courses. I look forward to seeing some of you from Cardiff International when our classes resume. Thank you. Back to you, Mr. Jamal. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Habiba. Uh, thank you very much for your wonderful words. We must appreciate the initiative of uh, STS Group for bringing this golden opportunity for Bangladeshi care. So you know about STS Group it's, itself is a brand and it works with the brand. I mean, it has started a lot of brands in terms of education, hospital. I mean, you heard about uh, Evercare, I mean, Apollo Hospital. It's a brand that STS Group has started in Bangladesh. Now, it has brought another brand, world top brand, Monash University for Bangladeshi kids. So you will start your Monash University journey right here at Universal College Bangladesh, right after your A-level. So that will give you 100% guaranteed entry to Monash University. That will give you 100% guaranteed entry to Australia. It was unbelievable before. Now it is the reality. So to prepare your Australian education while being in Bangladesh, you jumpstart your first year, then transfer to Australia. This is the golden opportunity. It will not only create your career, it will also build your life. How is that? What should you motivate to choose Monash University? How will a degree from Monash University will help you to benefit your career? And let's listen to a Monash University alumnus. He happens to be uh, uh, head of marketing at Universal College Bangladesh. He is none other than Mr. Amit Choudhury. Firstly, thank you, Mr. Jamal, for being such a wonderful host and for giving me this virtual floor. It's an honor for me to talk about a global brand like Monash, which plays a huge role in my life. With the high rankings, with, uh, you know, Monash holds in various global university rankings, it gets relatively easy for Monash graduates, or as we call ourselves, Monashians, to get into reputed organizations in all parts of the world when we graduate. In today's world, with globalization taking place at the highest peak, the Monash passport gives you the edge over other candidates. With the high level of global standard education, a very strong international alumni network. See, I did emphasize on the word very strong international network alumni network, it's because Monash graduates have been doing well in all fields in all the countries they are staying right now. And in today's world, having a great network of friends or you know a community, being a part of an amazing community does add value to your life. So Monash gives you a mindset of learning and unlearning both within and beyond the campus. Monash builds its alumni in a way that they stay competitive and competent to face the challenges of the modern world. The motto of Monash University is Ancora Imparo, which means I'm still learning. Reminds us that the search for knowledge never ends. And here I am, a proud Monashian, working as the head of marketing at the prestigious Universal College Bangladesh, the exclusive partner of Monash College Australia, following that mindset to learn from all of you present today. So let's all learn and be a part of this beautiful Monash journey. And interestingly, as I speak, because Monash is very popular in two destinations, one is Australia and also in Malaysia, though it has other campuses as well, but these are the main campuses that they promote, right? So my elder brother has studied in Monash, Australia, and I have completed my undergrad in Monash, Malaysia. So was the degree of the same value and did it get the same recognition when we started applying for our jobs? Well, the degree was you know, the same, it had the same value. So what was different? The geographical location was different and also the cost. For my parents, 
bearing the cost of my elder brother's education in Australia was much higher compared, uh, compared to the cost that they had to pay when I studied in Malaysia. And for the parents out here and for the students out here, the cost that your parents would need to bear for your Monash degree journey right here in Bangladesh, which starts at Universal College Bangladesh, would be significantly low. And again, coming back to the point, is the degree, final degree, degree that you're going to receive at the end of your Monash journey of the same value. It is of the same value. It is a global Monash, which is delivered locally to you through Universal College Bangladesh. And we have an amazing campus in Gulshan One, and we expect you to be you know, a part of this Monash journey. And I, as an alumni, look forward to all of you being a Monash graduate and upcoming Monash alumni. So uh, the floor is back to you, Mr. Jamal. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Amid, for your wonderful, real Monash experience sharing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now let's see what industry experts say about Universal College Bangladesh. Let me quickly show you a small clip featuring Australian High Commissioner to Bangladesh, His Excellency uh, uh, Jeremy Breer, most Miss uh, Joe Mithen, CEO Monash College Australia, and Professor Andrew Walker, um, Monash uh, Pro Vice Chancellor and President Monash University, Malaysia. I congratulate Monash College, UCB Bangladesh, my Austrad and other colleagues and everybody else involved for their tenacity and for their sheer hard work in helping to turn this great opportunity into reality. And I wish you every success in the future. The dream of setting up a study centre in Bangladesh has been a, a, a just that, a dream for very many years and it's just a wonderful thing to finally be in a position to see this come to life and so I I would echo His Excellency's comments and congratulate the UCB team on their tenacity um, in getting this partnership approved and uh, we very much look forward to bringing our program into uh, Bangladesh in the latter half of this year. So, so it might not be as much as such a transition for them but, but here's my advice to them and it picks up on Joe's advice develop good study habits because studying at university is very much about self-directed learning. I believe you are able to listen to the video. Let's moving ahead, uh, our programs uh, we offer at Universal College Bangladesh. Uh, it is uh, Monash University first year degree equivalent programs in applied data science, business, engineering, and information technology. These programs are equivalent to Monash University first year. So after your A levels, um, AS levels, you just start your Monash University journey. Once you finish your first year, uh, that will guarantee your direct entry into second year at. Uh, uh, Monash University, either in Australia or Malaysia, wherever you want, 100% guaranteed into, into second year. Even if you want to study some other universities like Swinburne, Deakin or RMIT, you can do so. We do have that memory of understanding with these universities. At this stage, let me bring a message, message from Joe Mithen, CEO of Monash College Australia for Bangladesh students about Universal College Bangladesh. Hi. I'm Jo Mithen, the Chief Executive Officer of Monash College. I'm really excited that we've partnered with Universal College Bangladesh to give local students a pathway to Monash University, one of the top 100 universities in the world. Monash College is wholly owned by Monash University and we provide the only guaranteed pathway into Monash University for students who meet the entry requirements. We are driven by our mission of transforming students' lives and preparing the next generation of global professionals. Through innovative programs which align with the very high standards set by Monash University, we equip our students for life at university and beyond. The courses offered by UCB are exactly the same curriculum as those provided in Melbourne and through many of our partners globally. Students can study the Foundation Year Program, which provides entry into all 10 faculties of the university, or a Diploma of IT, Applied Data Science, Business or Engineering, which provide corresponding entry into those programs at Monash University in second year. 
Whichever pathway students choose, they're working with pre-university experts who prepare them to continue their educational pathway in Australia or in Malaysia. If you're considering studying at UCB, one of the great benefits is that you'll be able to stay at home for an additional year to help you really get ready for the stresses and the pressures and the opportunity to study abroad. You'll develop new skills, receive additional support and build friendships that you'll have for the rest of your time with at Monash and beyond. So by the time you're ready to transition to university, you'll have had the best possible experience and preparation without ever having to leave Bangladesh. When you join UCB, not only will you have an outstanding student experience, you'll also become part of a worldwide family that is committed to quality education and developing the next generation of global professionals. From everyone here at Monash College, we hope you'll start your journey with UCB so we can welcome you to Monash Australia or Malaysia soon. I wish you the very best of luck with your studies and we really do look forward to seeing you here at some time in the near future. Thank you. I hope all of you were able to listen to the video about the strong relationship between Monash Australia and Universal College Bangladesh. Now, a lot of questions may come into mind about the curriculum to be followed at Universal College Bangladesh. Are they Monash standard? Who would be the faculty members? And what would be uh, the testing procedures at Universal College Bangladesh? To answer all your questions, let me hand over the virtual floor to Professor Sarwar Ahmed, Dean of Academic Affairs, Universal College Bangladesh. Professor Sarwar Ahmed. Well, are you there, Professor Sarwar? Yes, 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 I'm, I'm connected. Yes, yes. Thank you, Mr. Jamal, for giving me the floor. floor. Uh, first, I would like to uh, say a, a very uh, good evening to all the teachers, parents, and students from Cardiff International School. Thank you for her being here and having us here. Uh, two important questions that must be answered before choosing a particular uh, university or education institution is is about about the standard of the curriculum and of course the people who would be delivering it first let, let me uh, discuss about the standard of our curriculum as you see uh, right from the beginning of the you know start of the semester end of the semester course syllabus units uh, testing procedure evaluation everything that will follow in our curriculum for our programs will be directed step by step by Monash College Australia. Almost every day, me and my teachers, we are having meeting with the representative from Monash College Australia to give direction about, complete direction about, A to Z direction about our curriculum from the Monash College. So in that respect, we can see that, yes, absolutely, our curriculums are of Monash standard. And not only that, our curriculum will go periodic reviews and each and every teachers that we are recruiting here are approved by Monash College. And also they are trained, trained by Monash College. And, and once you, you, you pass out from a particular semester, your results will be benchmarked with the, all the partners all around the world of Monash College to see how you are doing. So in short, we can say that whatever we will be teaching here, delivering here, assessing here and doing here, everything would be completely by, guided by Monash College. And, and it's of Monash standard. Second, uh, we can have great curriculum, but how about the teachers who would be teaching? I'm very, very proud. As an academician, I'm very, very proud to say that as the dean, dean of, of this particular program, I can say that we have a very good collection of the faculty members. And I, and I would say this is the best in the country. Why? Why I would say that? They have gone through a very rigorous process of selection. They are coming from experience background and they're coming from the top ranked universities of the world also all of these teacher their recruitment and cvs are vetted by the departmental head of the respective monash college australia on top of that and which i consider to be very important and also my other speakers have said that you know they understand the context and mindset of bangladesh student going abroad is challenging for different reasons. Culturally, it's challenging. You got to start, uh, you know, uh, cope up with the new environment. But the biggest challenge comes with the education system. 
uh, study habit is very, very important. The study habit that our Bangladeshi students are having here now are different from what you are going to face in Monash. So during this your stay with the Universal College Bangladesh, we are going to mold and mend your study habit so that you can understand you are ready for what is expected out of you by Monash. We are going to offer you tutorial classes in every week so that whatever you have learned throughout that particular week, if, if there is any deficiency, you can cover it up on a one to one basis with our teachers who understand your problem, your issues. And so that when you move to the next week, next week's lesson, you completely understand each and everything that have been taught so far. So in that way, we can say that we have Monash standard curriculum and teachers ready for you. Come and join us, grab this unique opportunity of learning. Thank you, over to you, Mr. Jamal. Thank you, thank you, Professor Sarwar for your wonderful words and explanation about our curriculum to be followed at Universal College Bangladesh and faculty members you do have and their training with Munash Australia. Thank you very much. So, so far we have understood that 100% Munash curriculum, 100% Monash trained faculty members and 100% Monash uh, testing and certification at Universal College Bangladesh. Of course, that will give you 100% guaranteed entry into Monash University either in Australia or Malaysia. Uh, let's move on. Uh, uh, I mean, moving on to our uh, another segment that is about local accreditation. So we have uh, got the affiliation from Monash Australia. I mean, we're the exclusive partner of Monash Australia. So what about the Bangladesh government affiliation? I mean, accreditation. Uh, Dr. Sandeep, I would like to hand over the floor to explain about this uh, local accreditation, whether we do have or not. Excellent. Of course, we do have. <laughs> there's, there's no question on that. Uh, as we, as Jamal, Mr. Jamal has said repeatedly, SGS Group stands for the highest levels of trust uh, in the community. The wherever SGS is associated, there are no questions asked, and that is because the highest levels of ethics standards uh, is for corporate governance is what we follow. And before even we introduce this program, in fact, even before we advertise for this program, we ensured that after years of adhering to all the regulations of UGC, of Ministry of Education, we got relevant approvals and were finally recognized by the Ministry of Education. The screenshot that you see on the right side of this uh, screen is actually a screenshot from the Ministry of Education website. You see Dr. Deepu Moni, Honorable Education Minister. You see the State Education Minister also out there. And the letter that you see is the recognition letter. My name is written on the top. And that is for the Monash College Australia Study Center, which is right there at SA Tower in Gulshan uh, in Dhaka. So uh, once again, uh, if a parent is going to get his child join any program, whether national or international, this is the most important question you should be asking. Uh, is the program recognized? Because if the program is recognized, tomorrow the child can join anywhere after finishing the program or even in the midpoint of the program. But if it is not recognized, then the child's future is doomed. So for us, this is one of the most critical advantages that we are providing to the parent and to the community out here. Thank you, Jamal. Thank you, thank you very much. Moving ahead with our tuition fees, what would be the tuition fee? And uh, if we compare it uh, directly going Australia or Malaysia, so where we stand. So here to explain uh, the table, um, I mean this uh, table, uh, I'm not going to enter into the detail, rather very, very significantly less tuition fee that uh, uh, we offer at Universal College Bangladesh. You can see the column, I mean, in a year, you can complete uh, first year at Universal College by paying only 7,900 USD. If you go to study directly in Australia for a three-year programs or for a, for a four-year programs, 
see the total cost, including accommodation. And if you start using uh, through UCB, that will help you to save more than, I mean, 25 lakhs uh, in a year for tuition fee and accommodation fee to in total more than 35 lakhs our BDT in one year if you start with UCB. So that significant amount you will be able to save if you start your uh, Monash University journey through Universal College Bangladesh. Uh, additionally, we cannot add one more thing like at this moment, Australian border is closed. I mean, most of the country's borders are closed. So if you study in at a Monash at this moment, you will have to study online. But same academic curriculum, same, uh, I mean, uh, faculty standard, you will be studying, but you will be able to save 35 blocks in one year. So why on earth you will be going for directly for Australia? Rather, you will start here with Universal College Bangladesh. That will help you to save significant amount, as I mentioned, more than 35 lakhs if you start through Universal College Bangladesh. Uh, we also offer a scholarship at Universal College Bangladesh. Uh, well, if, if we could just bring back that slide, I would like to basically, uh, you know, add uh, something very interesting. Now we, now Monash University and Monash College has reached out to us and uh, they have said that the Monash students who are direct admitted to Monash would like to study at Universal College Bangladesh. <laughs> and uh, you, you know, so the exact point that you are saying uh, is what is coming true. Now, instead of these students who are direct admissions to Monash and should have gone to Monash this year, they are now coming to us because they will take live classes at our campus out here. And you're right. Uh, in summary, if a child is to do a bachelor's in business or a bachelor's in IT or data science, uh, if they go through us and then go to Malaysia, the total cost is $38,900 uh, compared to $133,000 they would have to spend if they go directly to Australia, right? That is, uh, there is all, no comparison. This is phenomenal savings. Thanks. Thanks, Jamal. Let's go ahead. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, also, we do offer a scholarship based on your academic results from 30% to 40%. If you have uh, a very good result, results means uh, uh, three subjects, all A's, you'll have 30% scholarship. Uh, three subjects, all A's, so you'll have 40% scholarship. I mean, if you are from uh, Cambridge or at Excel board. So based on your result, you'll receive a scholarship. Um, also, we do offer a scholarship uh, uh, based on your national or international achievement. And this scholarship will be continued uh, if you go to Australia or Malaysia, um, if you have certain score at Universal College. So if you go to Australia, yearly you will receive $6,000 scholarship. So if uh, the program is for four years, one year here at Universal College and three years in uh, uh, Australia, so for three years you will receive $18,000 scholarship. And if you go, want to go to Malaysia, uh, also yearly you will receive 10,000 RMB. Uh, so it's huge. I mean, uh, if you compare the direct tuition, uh, you, you have to provide if you go uh, directly to uh, Australia or Malaysia. So with that note, the, the, this, this was uh, our part from tuition fee and scholarship. Now, I would like to invite again Dr. Sandeep to talk about our wonderful, gorgeous WOW campus. Great, great. Um, Jamal, uh, for us, it is again a very proud thing. SGS is the number one in project management in the country. And when we took up this project of building the campus, the clear mandate that Monash had given to us was that whenever any student enters this campus, they should have, they should be entering a Monash campus. So the standards that you see out here uh, are equal if not better than any Monash campus that you would go to. Uh, honestly, uh, this is one of the most postmodern equipment design architecture that you can see. Uh, there is a vibrance of colors. We have the most modern technology inside the classrooms. Uh, for example, the reception that you see the first photograph and the motifs of rickshaws that you see is uh, that's the mix of both modern design and the Bangladeshi culture and ethos, which we have brought together, uh, meshed together in a very seamless way. The experience that the child gets at every place throughout the campus, whether it is a library that you see in the second uh, image uh, with UCB written and the green colors or the classroom where 
it's not a whiteboard, but an 86 inch touch screen uh, smart board where children will be able to see what they are seeing right on their laptops. They can see from their homes, they can see from their cars if they're late to the class, from anywhere. And of course, from inside the class, it's an absolutely world-class mind-blowing experience or the rooftop cafe that is there where you have brilliant uh, in-city campus sports activities like foosball, pool, and so on and so forth. Um, our objective was and remains that when a student comes out of a class or when a student you know, comes to the campus, their, their first word and the last word should be wow. Uh, and that is what we are attempting to achieve and we have achieved. The, what the pictures that you're seeing, my background that you're seeing out here, these are real backgrounds and the, these are real people who are walking behind me. So uh, it's very important to uh, feel the world-class campus. Uh, there's no other educational institution that can give you such a quality campus. Back to you, Jamal, thank you. Thank you very much. Moving ahead with our last slide, it represents uh, our students. They are our campus ambassador. Just this month, they have joined at Universal College Bangladesh after right after their O-level we do have another program called Monash University Foundation Year Program. After their all level, they joined us and we have made them our campus ambassador. So next time, whenever we will be at Cardiff International School, hopefully, hopefully uh, these pictures will be replaced by Cardiff's students. Let's see what happens for the future. And students, parents, if you have any questions, what you can do, you can just take a screenshot of this slide and uh, share this number with your parents, ask them to communicate with our uh, admission counselor, they will be guiding uh, your uh, admission journey with Universal College and Monash Australia. So uh, also you can write us, uh, you can uh, email us admission at ecbbd.org. You're also invited to visit our website ecbbd.org. Hopefully all the answers will be covered over there. And if you want to visit our campus, the WOW campus, wonderful campus. So I would like to request, I invite you to visit our campus. It is just Kulshan 1, Esa Tower, the center of Dhaka city, the heart of Dhaka city. If you visit, if you enter the campus, you will not be able to refrain yourself from taking pictures and posting on social media. The campus, I mean, beauty we do have in our campus. So you are invited to visit there. With that note, the formal presentation part is over. Now, uh, uh, we also, and uh, I'd like to invite you to uh, ask the question, see if you have. Uh, uh, I, I actually had a question uh, so that it's actually uh, embedded in this session. Uh, if a student is getting admitted to the diploma program, uh, is Universal College Bangladesh going to assess their Australia entry qualification right then? Uh, the question, I will repeat, uh, when you are taking a student into Monash College first year equivalent degree program, uh, the student would want to know whether after one year, uh, will he get guaranteed visa into Australia? So are we going to assess the, uh, the, the general entry requirements into Australia also at that moment when they join us? Yes, uh, of course, what happens like, uh, uh, once uh, students are coming to Universal College Bangladesh, first we look for their academic entry requirement. Based on that, we take them to our programs. And uh, uh, what happens, they change their minds sometimes, like after starting one year, they can choose their destination programs because we ask their destination program. We prepare them for Australia. So after that, once they finish their uh, one year with Universal College that will uh, give them, I mean, we'll prepare them uh, to give a guaranteed entry to second year at uh, Monash Australia. And also once you are guaranteed admitted to Monash Australia, that will give you guarantee to have the visa. No worry about the visa. Just uh, uh, exception is if you have that medical fitness over there, just one thing, nothing else. Great, great. So uh, we already run Universal College in Lanka. We are the only institution for Monash College which runs two campuses now. In Universal College Lanka, we have been operating since 2016 and we have had 100% visa success rate, 100%. So for the past six years, all the batches which have passed out, uh, that's the 100% visa success rate. Uh, 
when Dr. Uh, Sandeep, in the beginning, I shared a video that uh, represents, I mean, uh, in our inaugural program, uh, His Excellency, um, uh, 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 the Australian High Commissioner to Bangladesh, uh, His Excellency Jeremy Breuer joined us, uh, and he wholeheartedly welcomed uh, the whole, the participants. I mean, I mean sorry, it shows the credibility, it shows the attachment we do yeah. have and the it's trust really we fun. do have about processing our students for Australia. An excellent point. Excellent. I absolutely, you know, forgot that. Absolutely excellent point. Uh, Amit, uh, one question to you. You have studied in Malaysia. You have many friends from Australia. So uh, if a student wants to know, uh, you know, should he go to Malaysia? Should he go to Australia? What's the level difference between Malaysia and Australia? What would you recommend? After Honestly, they finish the program, yes. So because I was in Malaysia myself, there's definitely a soft corner that I have for the Malaysian campus and also looking at various factors like costing because when they start their journey here in Bangladesh, there's significant cost saving and there is also a lot of, uh, you know, things that is being taken care of by UCB. The other factors are not taken into account because they're living at their house. They're not having to work and they're not having to do their cookings and cleanings. They only have to focus on their studies. So once they finish that part, uh, and because Malaysia is very close to Bangladesh, it's a Muslim country, and it's so close to Bangladesh, there are so many factors on why I personally feel that, you know, choosing Malaysia would be great. But then again, I, I had my elder brother who studied in Australia. So there are two, two ways to talk about it, but there are certain advantages that Malaysia has because the cost saving part comes, th that cost saving starts right here from Universal College Bangladesh. And then you also save relative costs when you go to Malaysia instead of Australia. Having said that, both the degrees that they finally avail from either Australia or Malaysia would have the same value. And wherever they start, they're gonna start here in Bangladesh. So finally, it's the same degree, the same value. So they need to think of the other factors as well. But uh, like I said, in the very beginning, I have a soft corner for Malaysia and I would definitely offer Malaysia and the campus is great, but Excellent. yeah. Excellent. Um, and, uh, I, would, I would like to add to yeah, what I was I'm going to come to you. I was going to come to you that, you know, for a university which is ranked 58th in the world, higher than Ivy League universities like Brown, uh, getting into the university, whether in Malaysia or Australia, should not matter. Uh, so, Habiba, I had uh, one question to you. Uh, does a student have to choose Australia or Malaysia right when they are joining the program? Uh, or can they defer the uh, the you know choice till the end uh, that's one question uh, jamal or habiba if you have any answers do does the student have to choose right when they join or they can choose at the end of the end of the first year um okay i'll i'll take this mr jamal so um uh, to having to first of all coming to what uh, amit said because he has a soft corner for malaysia i lived in australia so i have a soft corner for australia um right. And coming to your question as well, no, the student does not have to immediately choose which campus he or she wants to go to. After they finish their first year, based on their um, uh, results, and then they can choose whichever campus they want to go to. So in case of Malaysia or Australia, both of the, uh, both of the countries, uh, they even have similar climate. They have similar climate even. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. It's a beautiful, they have beautiful weather. The only difference is the geolocation. One is by flight four hours away. The other is by flight 14 hours away. That's it. There is no other significant difference. And uh, yes, like Amit said, Malaysia is a Muslim country. So those who are a bit conservative or those who prefer to stay more near to their home country, Malaysia is definitely preferred by them. Because in Australia, I struggle to find halal food sometimes. So that is, what is, is a factor. And uh, the fact that, that if you go to Malaysia, it's, uh, it's, uh, it has less exposure of international students. And Australia has more cluster of international students. That's great, great, great. So, so I think uh, given that quality of life, Melbourne is uh, counted uh, amongst the top five. One of the top in the world. Is one of the top right? in the world. So, if you look so up one is, of the most livable uh, cities in the world, Melbourne is in one of the top. Yeah, so quality of life, go for Melbourne. Permanent residentship, chances, go for Australia. 
Great, want a cost effective tuition fee, go for Malaysia. Otherwise, both degrees are the same. Okay, my last two questions, very, very quickly, let's answer. Professor Sarwar, uh, parents have this worry, you know, it's a, it's a global top 100 program. Will their child who has crossed 12th in Bangladesh background now joins the first year degree equivalent program at UCB, will their child be able to clear the program? What if the child is, for example, weak in mathematics? How will you handle such a child's issues? Yeah, uh, definitely. Very good question. Uh, because, you know, in most of the cases, uh, our kids, they, some kids have fear of math and, and all these basic subjects. What we are going to do, we, we are going to offer in our foundation courses three levels of maths, you know, fundamental math, mid-level mathematics and advanced level, advanced mathematics. So once when the student will be admitted and they start with us, we will have some pre-registration session. In this pre-registration session, we are going to uh, assess the level of uh, this math and English of the student. Right now, today I was talking with the faculty members. We are having a meeting how to do that. Uh, we, we talked about it. So based on that level of the student, we are going to place them whether they should be going for fundamental math or math or advanced math. And not only that, our students are going to have some problems in mathematics or these subjects. As I, as I have discussed during my presentation that we are going to have an institutional session, and especially for math, where if students are having problem, difficulties in understanding the math during that particular week, our teachers are going to help them one by one to overcome these challenges. So, so we, are going to, we are going to literally handheld them to, to overcome these challenges of quantitative subjects. Excellent. And uh, as I would also add uh, something that at Universal College Lanka, if you go to Monash website to see the average results, Universal College Lanka currently is number one globally in all Monash campuses globally. And 100% of students have passed from Universal College Lanka, whoever has joined us from 2016 till now. And that is a phenomenal, phenomenal achievement rate. We know what goes into keeping the academic curriculum at Monash standards and getting the highest academic results. Okay, my final question, Mr. Jamal, once again, if you could repeat, how will a child apply to the program? Let's say a child is interested, how would he or she apply? Could you uh, unmute and just uh, show? Sure. Yes. Of course, um, personally, I, uh, I did receive uh, another question about admission test, whether we do have an admission test for ECB or not. We do not have an admission test. Rather, we do have a required entry recommend criteria based on your result, like in your A-level result, if you have uh, a minimum five uh, in total score, minimum five, that could be two or three subjects. So if you have five, you can uh, get admitted to um, our IT I mean, computer science, if you have six, you can get admitted to um, our business engineering or applied data science. So very simple, just uh, you drop your number, you can somehow we, you reach to us, our counselors will be guiding you, assess you and finally complete the admission procedure. So what happens directly, you communicate. Uh, we do have our numbers on our website and also I shared and the link also is there. You can join our virtual office. You're also invited to visit our uh, physical campus. I mean, campus after this lockdown in Gulsh at Gulshan 1, once you visit, our counselors will be guiding you to complete uh, the admission procedure. Once you get admitted to uh, uh, Universal College Bangladesh, Again, I'm repeating it because it wasn't easy before. We have brought this opportunity for our Bangladeshi kids because the getting visa for Australia, it is quite challenging. And getting admitted for Monash University, it is, my goodness, with five, six, seven, eight score beyond imagination. It is not possible to get chance at Monash University, but we have brought this in, in, uh, opportunity for our kids so that with your five, six, seven, eight score, you can start your journey and we'll prepare you for Monash so that that will give you 100% attendee to second year into second year at Monash University either in Australia or Malaysia. So this is the very simple way, Dr. Sandeep, just uh, once they reach us, our counselors will be guiding them to complete the procedure. Excellent, Jamal. Thank you for an absolutely explosive session on Monash programs, admission, and what all are the advantages for a child to join Universal College Bangladesh here. Thanks so much. I hand over uh, this stage back to you for the final vote of thanks so that we can call it a day.
Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, the organizers at uh, Cardiff International School. Uh, most, I mean, specifically Pfizer ma'am and principal ma'am for giving us the opportunity uh, to uh, have brought uh, Universal College Bangladesh that information uh, to disseminate to your students so that they can take right decisions for their higher education starting Monash University Jani right here in Bangladesh. And also I must thank you, Dr. Sandeep, uh, for being here, giving your valuable time to uh, enrich our session and of course, Professor Sarwa Dean, Academic Affairs, uh, Ms. Habiba Kibriya, Mr. Amit Choudhury, and background Risalat, uh, Mr. Mustafi, is, you have been working uh, relentlessly. I mean, I, I mean, you have been working, supporting us to organize this event successfully. Thank you. Thank you very much. With that note, I'd like to conclude the session. Great. I think I think we should also.